Good morning. So this video is not a video that I had planned when I sat down and planned out all the videos we wanted to make for this route. Um, but life throws you a curveball and I figured that this was one that would be a good one to share with you guys um, in case anybody is curious about this kind of thing or um, is wondering how they would handle a similar situation. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. We, so we are currently in Blackfoot, Idaho, which is a town of 15,000, and we are on our way to Swan Valley, Idaho, which is smaller. I don't know how many people live there, but it's a tiny, tiny little area. Um, and it's only about an hour, hour and a half drive between the two. So we have a short drive day today. So the plan was to wake up this morning and have kind of a lazy, relaxed morning and then get up and get ready and pack up and go, Teddy, hush buddy. Um, and then go over to Swan Valley casual relax which is why the rv is a mess and is in no way ready to travel because we thought we had some time however we woke up this morning and teddy has an ear infection um at least that's what we're pretty sure it is i've never had a dog before with an ear infection um i've known other people whose dogs get ear infections all the time but um teddy's my third dog and i've never had one have an ear infection before but um, it looks pretty gross inside there and he's shaking it and he's scratching at it. And the only thing that will keep him like relaxed is if I massage it. Um, and the pic it looks just like the pictures online of a dog with an ear infection. So it also happens to be the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend right now. So everywhere is closed or full up booked and has no openings. Um, however, one vet that I called did um, tell me that there is an emergency vet in Idaho Falls. So we are going through Idaho Falls to get to our final destination today. So the plan is to um, the, pl the plan is to pack up here with the RV, drive to that emergency vet, drop me and Teddy off. Matt's gonna find a safe place to park the RV and just hang out with Scout in the RV uh, while he waits for us, and we're gonna get Teddy checked out. It is an emergency vet, so it's kind of, um, they see by severity, and Teddy's is not as severe as others. Um, like, it's not like he's gotten a broken leg or, or something, so, um, we might be waiting there a while, we have no idea. But we figured we'd take you guys along for this journey, um, just so you can kind of see what happens when you need vet care unexpectedly while on an RV trip. <music> He's like, I'm ready to go. Distract me from my ear, please. All right, give me a couple minutes. So everything is not as neat and tidy as we would like it, but it is all secured. I always come through and I just physically touch everything to make sure it's all closed because there's always something that isn't. So yeah, it's not as neat and tidy as preferable, but it will work. And we can bring in this last slide. Matt brought in the other two already. Um, this is the sofa dinette slide. You ready to go to the doctor, buddy? Hopefully these people can help you. Okay, so we just finished up this emergency vet. It is West, you can't even see that, it's just a white sign. It is West Vet Emergency in Idaho Falls. Um, my best vet experience I've ever had. It was amazing. They were so, so good. If you happen to be in Eastern Idaho and need an emergency vet, I highly recommend them. Um, so it was, you know, pricey for the fact that it was unexpected and that we were gonna have to go do this. Um, but as far as emergency vets go, I don't think it was expensive. Um, in fact, they charged us almost $200, a couple of dollars short of $200. 
and I said to Teddy, oh, Teddy, we aren't in California anymore. And one of the ladies waiting in the waiting room kind of laughed and she's like, yeah, they're actually really reasonably priced here. Like they're a good price. Um, so I'm going to tell Matt the story because he hasn't heard it yet. But what happened was, um, so I walk in with Teddy and they told us on the phone that it was going to be, um, first not first come first serve but worst worst case like triage yeah whoever needed the most care got to go first but there was nobody in there they i came in and they're like hi how can we help you and i i said i think teddy has an ear infection and he's you know anxious and can be scared and um they're like okay well let's get him weighed and so i was like okay good luck <laughs> um so they came over with like one of those short little call like slip collars that vets use or the leashes the slip leashes so they put it on him they took him off of my leash and they just like walked across the room with him and they're like come on buddy mama's right there let's just go get you on the scale and so they just took him over while i'm filling out the intake paperwork which is crazy like you have to know teddy to know that like they just a stranger came and took him and walked away from <laughs> me and he didn't he kind of he was looking and he was whining a little but he wasn't like freaking the heck out and they're like okay we're gonna take him in the back and i'm like okay good luck like this he might freak out and they're like okay well, well we'll let you know if we need help or whatever and they just go in the back and i'm i'm listening i'm waiting for the sounds of teddy trying to eat their face because that's what teddy does because he's especially, scared especially when he's alone yeah he, so i'm waiting and it never comes i hear him whining a little bit i hear them like it's okay buddy let's just look in your ear and so they're in there like five minutes less and somebody comes back out and they're like, which ear is it? And I'm like, it's the left. So clearly they're like, let's not try to look at both ears too much. So they go back in and then the doctor comes out and she's like, yeah, his left ear has an ear infection. He won't let us clean it, which was, we understood that that was to be the case. Like we would have been shocked. So we're going to send you home with the cleaner and we're going to tell you how to use it. And so for 200 bucks, we got the, you know, five minute vet consult and then also the cleaner and the medication. And so he has to get, um... We have to clean both ears with the cleaner. Uh, we put the the liquid in his ears and then kind of scrunch it around and then wipe it out and that should clean it. And then he gets one time a day, he gets eight drops in the left ear for seven days. And then there'll be leftover medication that we will have on hand in case he gets another ear infection. They even said that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it was a great, like, this was the best case scenario that we could have imagined when we realized we had to bring Teddy to the vet. Like, actually, it's not even the best case scenario we could have imagined. We never would have imagined it going this well. Yeah, we. I wouldn't have. I thought we were going to have to wait well. like an hour and a half and Teddy was going to freak. I thought it was going to just, I was ready for a bad day. Yeah. And it went really well. So. I mean, we, we have a dilemma now. We're going to be early to our next campground. We can't go straight to our campground. We have to go find lunch somewhere or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Teddy has earned a hamburger. Okay. So I think that maybe we should swing by somewhere where we can get Teddy a plain hamburger. Because you think we can drive a fifth wheel through? No, we just got to find a place where we can park and walk in. <laughs> I mean, it's Idaho, but it ain't, you know, magic. We saw that boat. We did see a boat. We've seen a boat and a trailer. Yeah, we saw through, a trailer too. <laughs> go through drive throughs in the last couple weeks. So anyways, it all worked out well. I'm glad that it, uh, oh, I'm so glad. It's just okay. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So we'll see if we can get this medication into Teddy's ear and he can get better. All right, buddy. You were such a good dog at the vet. You were such a good boy. We got a treat for you. <laughs> all right, Scotty, we got one for you too. Scotty got all of these. She had to sit with she you. She sat with me. <laughs> okay, this is a lot for you. Maybe Teddy's going to get yeah, Teddy's gonna get a couple. There you go, Scotty. You can finish your hamburger. There you go, Ted. Okay. You're such a good boy. We're gonna go and set up at our next campsite, and then we're gonna clean your ears, okay, bud? Okay? He's like, where's more burger? I don't care about that. Just give me more hamburger. Okay, so we made it to our final destination, our next RV park. Um, for the next couple of weeks, we are outside of Jackson, or about an hour away from Jackson, which is where we're going to be spending a lot of our tourist time. Um, but now we have Teddy's ear uh, wash and ear medication, so I'm going to go ahead and give that to him. And I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. It was a wild and crazy day. It was not at all like we expected, um, but it all turned out as well as possible. And I hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this journey with us. This is something we've always kind of wondered how is this going to work if we need emergency vet care on the road? 
Um, so it's kind of nice to have had our first experience with it go well. Uh, so you don't have to be afraid of it. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you don't want to miss future videos, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Today.